Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be checking out the Write on Text effect in DaVinci Resolve's new version 15 beta. So this is a feature I was looking for in DaVinci Resolve 14, but didn't really exist until now. So when you add on Write on Text effect, it can look something like this, where basically from the start of your text to the end of the text, it's going to start hiding those characters one letter at a time. You can also have it go in reverse though and have it reveal one letter at a time, or go from right to left instead of left to right. So how you do this is with DaVinci Resolve 15's new text plus element, which you can find in the effects library at the top and then titles. And then right under where the old text uh, element is, we have the new text plus indicated by the lightning bolt. So to get started, we drag this into the timeline and then we'll have a new title sequence we can adjust. And what you'll notice over in the inspector in the top right, is that these new text plus elements have a lot of different tabs going for them and definitely a lot more control than you had in the original titles of DaVinci Resolve 14. So very happy about that and I definitely want to cover that more in future videos. But for right now, in order to hide or reveal text with right on text, we scroll down here from the top in the Fusion tab and we'll come down here where it will say right on. So how right on works is that with its default values, zero start and one end, there is no right on. And as we drag these left and right endpoints in, it's going to start hiding characters. So right now it says 0 0.16 as the start, which means it's going to be hiding about 16% of the characters. And if we do the same thing to the end, it's going to start removing characters, but from the right side instead of the left side. So just like everything else with a title element, we can keyframe it. So when we want to add keyframing, we simply click on this little gray diamond and we'll keyframe the first frame here where we have no right on text. And then we could say, go halfway over here and adjust the right on where we'll automatically add in a new keyframe. So let's say we wanted to go left to right, right on and 100%. Then I would just drag the start over to the right and now if we play it back, it's going to look something like this. So where you set the keyframes is going to control how fast it appears or disappears. So for instance, I could go here and for the first keyframe, I will make it completely invisible by putting the right end start to the end. And then just a couple frames later, I'm going to uh, take this left endpoint and move that all the way back over to the left. So what this will be is a right to left, right on. So the characters appear from the right to the left and you'll be able to see that it goes a lot faster than this initial effect where the characters disappear. Obviously I can reverse the direction just as easily by starting with the right endpoint on the left, going over a few frames and then dragging that right endpoint back to the end where this will write on from left to right, which is probably what most people are looking for, let's be honest. So a quick write on from left to right going on there. And so that's the gist of how the write on text effect works inside of DaVinci Resolve 15. Now, unfortunately, it does have to do one character at a time. I have been looking through the text plus element, but there doesn't quite seem to be a individual stroke by stroke write on text effect quite yet. But who knows, maybe if one of the people from the team watches this video, they'll add on stroke by stroke write on text in the future. So that's going to be it for this video in DaVinci Resolve 15. Obviously, I'm going to be making a lot more content as I personally explore the new version. So if you're into that, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my future video content.